So save our friends, close down everything else, clean it, make it nice and clean. And now our messenger screen. Now this one is going to be pretty involved. This is our last screen actually that we need to make. Um, and you know we're going to have you know uh, like a keyboard, we're going to have you know like a messages, uh, like an input, we're going to have you know message bubbles, we're going to have a little message typing bubble, like an animated bubble bubble when this user here is typing, it's going to you know be like a little little bubble here as you expect in normal messages. And so, you know, it's a home stretch, last screen. Let's do it. So we're gonna create a safe area view so that we, you know, it's gonna not add anything where this notch is supposed to go. That's one of the main reasons. So we're gonna keep our safe area view and we're gonna give it a flex of one. And another thing we're gonna do, we're gonna update, we're gonna have, we're going to build out a, a nice message header. So similar to this, how we've got the, you know, we've got our, this is our, this is us in our you know, main, uh, you know, tab view header. We're going to make one for the user that we're talking to right now. So we're going to have that user and that user's name, you know, right at the top. We're going to make a nice little header. So to do that, we're going to update our, we're going to set our navigation options and we're going to pass a new title, a new navigation title altogether. So we're going to update the header before we do anything else. So this is going to be, we're going to use a use layout effect and make sure it's imported there. And in here, we use our navigation, which we need now. Navigation set options. Our header title, which we can just pass a function that returns a component, and like so, and then we're going to call it messages or message header. We're going to pass our friend, so we need to access our friend. Now we passed ourselves, I'll just open up friends again when we navigated here we passed this item which i don't know if we've done before so we passed this item which is our friend um, which is this this is our friend object where it's got the or it's a connection object and it's got the friend that we're connected to the preview blah 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 but you know it's, we're going to better use this right here and we're going to display that we're going to display their name and their thumbnail in our header and so we've passed it to this screen, to our messages screen, and we can access it like so. We can go const, we can grab our friend by going, we need to import some, uh, deconstruct something else. Our route, which is something that all screens have access to, our route.params, because we passed some params. Dot friend, because we passed that params that we passed is just a dictionary. So we can access our friend here. So we can pass our friend, all good, all good. And then we're gonna go and create that message header. And we pass the friend and just build it out. pixels, 30 you know, units, whatever, and then some text, and 
and just their name. Save that. And go into our, there we go. So we can see the user, uh, you know, instead of that, you know, messages, text, now we've got, a, you know, thumbnail, a picture of the user and their name up in this header now. And we can you know, navigate to and from, and we can go, go to our other one here. And when we go in here, you know, we've got that same user. So it's, you know, it's working as we expect. All good. We'll change this color here to a dark. Looks like the default color on Android is different. Yeah, so they're both the same color now. It's a bit light. Yeah, see this one's light and this one's a bit darker. So it's just default colors on different um, sim you know, simulators, environments, whatever. It's different is different, whatever. Now we're gonna add our text inputs. So the way we're gonna do it is we're gonna have one area that is where our messages are gonna go and that's gonna flex the whole way and then we're gonna have a messages input that's gonna be pushed down by that flex. And I'll see, see what we mean by that. So we'll create a view and we will give it some style so that we can see it. Flex of one, border width, we'll give it uh, six and border color red. Save that. So we can, we can see it very clearly what's happening. Now we're going to add our, a message input. And this is an object we're going to have to create. So we'll make that here. text input and then we need a button and it's going to be a font awesome make sure that's imported Save that, and let's see what it looks like. Nice. So when we click on that, it'll pop up. That's awesome. And then uh, nothing happens. So we want to. So when we click on our view, when we just click it, we want this to dismiss. So we're going to use a trick that we learned from our. Uh, sign in and sign up. We're going to get a 
touchable without feedback object uh, component. Make sure it's installed, uh, imported, and I'm going to wrap our view, and then hopefully that will allow us to call on press. Uh, we need our keyboard dot dismiss. Save that. Then when we click here, our keyboard will disappear. So when we click there, it works. When we click that, it disappears. And it shouldn't make a difference when we... And it does. Huh. When we scroll. When we, when we have items in here and we scroll, I don't think it will be a problem. But for now. Anyway. And then we try this one. Now we need to switch to our keyboard. See, we have a problem. When we use Android, it pops up for us nicely. When we close, it's all good. But on iOS, we have a problem. It completely covers our text input. Uh-oh, how are we going to solve that? We are going to do some trickery. Not some trickery, but some, you know, we're going to use an object that is available to us specifically for iOS. Now, this is an annoying, this is kind of ugly piece of code, but I mean, yeah, what choice do we have? So we're going, to, we're going to need to know which platform we're on. If it is equal to iOS, then we're just going to, we're going to return both. But but if it's if it's on iOS, we need to wrap it in something called an input accessory view. And then we save that. And then now, when we hit, now it rises with it. But we still have a problem because the bottom of our message view is hidden, as you can see, just by this, uh, you know, our little message area. So we're going to have to fix that as well. So do that. We're going to come to our view here. And we're just going to have, we're going to set a margin on the bottom to be conditioned, you know, condition on whatever platform we're on. So if it's on iOS, then we want it to be 60, which is how tall our, uh, hmm. yeah, okay, yeah. So our text input is 50 plus 10, which makes 60, so a height of 60. So we want it to be that tall. And then if it's not iOS, we want it to be zero. So we hit save, and then that should fix our problem. So we go Android, it works, no problem. We get iOS, and it's still there. Hmm. How annoying. Ah, oh, yeah, that's actually okay because of when we create our flat list that's going to display our messages, that is going to be aware of this keyboard. And so it's not going to be it's not going to be a problem. But you know, as you can see, there are differences between iOS and Android which, you know, create some problems and they created quite a few headaches. I am not going to lie. But this is working how we want it for now. So we can load some, we can send some messages and we can load some messages. That's what we're going to get to next. So we want to be able to type a message. That's the first thing we're going to do. So we're going to create a state. The message. And we're going to need to pass this to our message inputs. So our message and our set message. And we'll just copy these. Place them there. And also on send. So the function that we call when we when we hit send. And 
where so we're gonna console log our message on send. So grab our on send. And we're gonna pass that and come up to our message input and we need to grab all of those. So our touchable opacity on press is on send and our value is our message and now on change text is our set message. So wait. So now we go to our. Let's. Yeah, that's fine. View state. Let intelligence do it for us. Save. Look good. Go to our messages user. Come here and. Just start typing something and then hit send and it grabs exactly what we want now but we don't want to just send it like this well because I'll, you know I'll show you why let's just say we have lots of spaces lots of junk and then we hit send we don't want we want to trim it we want to you know we want to clean it up so that you can't have multiple spaces and stuff like that you know we want to, we want to trim extra white space extra garbage so in our on send, we're going to clean it first. And we're going to give it a regular expression. So we're going to replace white space with just a single, uh, a single space. And then we're going to trim up at the end of that. So cut off. Um, white space on the edges and then we can print that out as well we'll print out a cleaned and then now when we hit this see we've got the first one is all you know got heaps of junk and then this next one is nice and cleaned goody and then you know, if our cleaned dot length is equal to zero then we're just going to return we're not going to do anything here uh, yeah, we'll give that. Let's have some feedback here. And then we can go message send. And we can send our cleaned message. But we also need to pass the connection ID. So we know, you know which connection this message is going to be a part of. And we pass that as well. We can see here, so this here, this is our friend list, these are connections, and this ID is our connection ID. So we can grab that too. And I'm you know naming it ex you know split explicitly so that you know there's no confusion as to what it is, and that's the ID. We save that, and then now we need to make this function. It's going to be in our use global. Create a new section for messages. send a message, we're just going to copy this because it's going to be very similar. It's going to be, our source is going to be message send and we're going to pass our connection ID and our message. Save that. And we're all 
also going to set message to be empty after that. Once we send our message, we're going to clear uh, the you know the text input. So we're going to test this out. The server should receive our message, and then use glo uh, we're going to uh, import our use global that one, and then go to our message and some sort of message hit it removes from move from here it's on send is called and it should be received on our server which it is which is good so now we need to go to our server and implement we need to add a message model so we need to add a new model and we need to handle this you know message being sent so we'll do that now So to our API now, consumers, and then we need to make a new handle function. Put it here. Message has been sent. Message send. Grab the user the user that's sending it, the connection ID, and the message or the text, the message text. Grab that that connection object first to make sure that that actually even exists. Get that, and if it can't be found, or if it you know, something goes wrong. So at this point, we're going to have our valid connection. And then from there, we need to create a message. So we need to create a new object. And well, we need to create a new model. So we need to go to our models. And we need to create a new one of these. And we're going to call it message. And it's going to have a foreign key to a connection. Ah. Messages. A user user that sent the message a user type the text of the message Created, which is going to be the same thing as this. And we want to display something reasonable in our admin section. Should we want to 
look at it. Now we need to migrate that. We make sure your uh, you need to make sure you activate your virtual environment. So if you haven't, it's source and bin activate cd into your API Python manage make migrations. Detected it, all good. And then Python manage make uh, Python manage migrate. CD back into the root, and then you can deactivate if you want, and you can make server. And then we'll run our server again. Goody. Now we have our model. We go to our consumers, we need to import our model. message, come back to our message send, and we're going to create a message. That's where we needed our connection. Message text, and that's our message created. Sweet. And now, we're going to send the message back to ourselves first. Uh, actually, no, 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 we're not going to do any of that yet. We are just going to send the message, and that's it. We're going to hit save, and we're going to get a list of our messages first, and then we'll circle back to uh, you know, getting the real-time uh, updates. Let's go to our connection. And then we should be able to send a message straight away. We have an error. That's yeah, that's supposed to be a dictionary, not a function. I caught that. Clever, clever dog. like it worked. Let's get rid of this oi thing. Let's and we'll go to our admin and we'll add our messages so that we can see them in our admin as well. Our message. Save that. Come over to our admin. Reload this. And then we've got our messages here. And then we've got one message. Nola sent a message, and Nola in that message went to me. So wait, and we'll send another one. So we'll Messages again. Oh, there's some sort of error. What happened here? Hmm. Let's reload that. I'm not sure what happened. That worked. Yeah. Reload here. Hello, best friend. So now we have three messages that we can fetch, and we want to fetch messages when we load, when we jump in. We want to fetch them straight away, and we want to display all the messages that are there. So, if 
close our admin, close our models, we won't need that anymore. And we're gonna cre we're gonna go to our global and we're gonna make a new function here. It's gonna be called message list. And it's gonna have the connection ID and we're gonna pass also a page because we're gonna have lots of messages in the future and we wanna we're gonna we're gonna paginate them. So we're gonna pass the page, but for now it'll just be the first page. We would be you know won't need to worry about it for now. List, the connection ID, and also the page. And we're gonna need a messages list or a message message list. Ah, uh, no, we can't because this is the same. This is has the same name, so we're gonna have to call it messages just because we've got a clash there. Cool. And then when we call this function, we also want to, if it's the first page, which means it's the you know basically when page is equal to zero, that means that we've just opened this user's messages for the first time and it's like a totally refreshed thing. So what we're gonna do is we're going to wipe out messages list. So any, anything it had with anything it had before, we're just gonna make sure that it's, you know, now it's you know, an empty, like it's initially empty. So what this is gonna do is it's gonna wipe, if there's anyone else's messages there, we're gonna wipe them out so that we don't see any of that in the few seconds while it's loading. And trust me. So the messages list, and then we're going to go to our messages again, and we need to import this. Message list, and then in a use effect, not use, not layout effect, just a normal use effect. When we load, we want to go messages, message list. We then pass that connection ID and the default page is zero so we don't need to pass anything else we always want it to be zero here and uh, we want to pass that make sure we pass that there too and so we're going to be asking for our messages list and then we're going to get it so uh, oops, ah, I'm gonna have to rerun my, this accidentally terminated <laughs> this process, so I'll just have to close that, and I have to go to my, here again, and I'm just gonna run make, and it's gonna rebuild my simulators, and it's gonna rerun my metro and everything. Ugh, don't want that, I want that to be over here. So my new metro, and that's going to take a few minutes. Alrighty. Wait as. So back here. So we want to be calling our friend list, which we did right here. Yeah, that works fine. So now we need to go. So as soon as we entered, we called our friend list, which was you know this one here. So it was you know, received by the server. So now we need to go and implement that function. So in our consumers, we've sent a message. Now we want to list our messages uh, and also make sure to L if that there. Message list. So that and we're gonna make that. Make that function here. Uh, 
message list. Maybe user. Grab the connection so we can basically do exactly the same thing we did here. And we can save some space here. So we get our connection, and then if it does not exist, blah blah blah. And then we want to get our messages. Get them all for now. We won't worry about pet, uh, you know, sort of like, you know, homemade pagination. We'll get, we'll get to that. And now we need to, we want to serialize our messages. Serialize messages. We need to create a message serializer. We will in a second pass our messages and we're going to need to pass our user context again. Uh, we did that, yeah. So, this user context that we sent to our friend serializer, we're going to pass exactly that same thing as well. And many equals true. So, the reason why we didn't just write serialized. And we added this message it's because we're going to serialize a message uh, I'm gonna have it serialize our messages but also we're gonna let we're gonna send back our friend as well and that's gonna be important for us later on so we're gonna make we're gonna add we're gonna create this serializer first and so we can import it so we'll clean this up Save because our serializers so we're going to return pretty much everything but we're going to add an additional field that we're going to create and we need to we want to know if 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 the message belongs to us as in the user that is logged in, or if it belongs to the other user, our friend. So we're going to need to know that so that when we're displaying our bubble, our message bubbles, and It's just going to be a boolean context from the user that we gave ourselves. If it is equal to the message user that sent it, then it's just going to be true. So that's all we need to do for that. We need to make sure we in imported our message model. Did there. Now we have all of our serializers. We're not going to need to create any more serializers now. Uh, we are going to come back and update this preview though, but we're not going to need to create any new serializers. So we're on the well and truly on the home stretch now. So 
Then close that. And we need to serialize our friend as well. So we need to figure out who the recipient is or our friend. So we're going to Just going to help us. Basically, it's going to, yeah, we're going to copy paste this over and over and over, and it's going to get the other person who is not us, and then we're going to serialize our friend. recipient and we're going to return an, an object it's going to it's going to have our messages serialized messages dot data and, and also our friend data and then we're going to send that back to the requestor Or the person who just opened their messages screen. And then just that data. Save that. And then reload. Open up our messages. We've got an error. Context user. Huh. Context user. Hmm. Why don't we have access to that? Serializes. Self.context user. Self.context user. Hmm. Did we pass it? Message serializer context user. What? It doesn't make any sense. Let's print out context. Reload everything. Hmm. Here error user. So it should have the user. What the what's the hell? Context user. I don't understand what is going on here. In get friend. Ah, okay. I was looking in the wrong spot. So it's supposed to be here in my friend serializer. So I don't want my friend user, uh, friend serializer, it's my user serializer. Yeah. Let's try again. 
questions. Yep. So this is what we wanted. All of our messages and then the friend. See? Same same friend. So we just want we just want, we want the, you know, we we want a packet of the actual user um, that this is associated with as well, along with the messages. So that's why we did it that way. So now we're going to actually make our bubbles, our message bubbles, so we can see what's going on. So we need to go to our global and we need to make a response function. message list done this a million times before and so our messages list we're going to add or append to this list because we expect it, it to be empty if when we request the list down here if it's the first page we set it to nothing so that when up the top here when we get some data we're going to get whatever's in the message is list too many s's and then we're going to go data dot messages we're going to spread that out and then that way we're going to be able to add page after page after page you know, this way and we're not going to do anything with the friend that we fetched just yet we will though now that we have our messages list we can go to our message screen and we can add a flat list we can also clean this up message list let's grab our messages list probably could have named that better but whatever so we're going to create a flat list here Flat list messages list we're going to invert it because we want our messages to go in the reverse direction as we'll see in a minute and then we need the key extractor Render item, item index we're going to need, message bubble, and we're going to pass, pass the index, the, the actual message item, which is the item, and the friend. the friend we already had from here. So we can just pass that to friend. And close off our flat list. Now we need a message bubble. We need to create that. Come up here. So what do we have? We have the index, the message, and the friend. So if the message is me, then there's one bubble we want to show. If it's me, and then 
And if it's them, we want to show a different one because you know our messages are going to be on one side and theirs are going to be on the other. Pass the text, message.text, and same thing with this one. But with them, we're going to pass the friend as well because we're going to display their thumbnail. And it's going to look incredible. So now we need to make these two. We're so close now. Thumbnail, we want to add that as well, which we should have installed already. URL is equal to the friend.thumbnail. The size 42, the end of the life, everything, blah, 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 blah. And then we need one down here to squash everything. simpler and we'll just copy mm, we'll do a straight copy copy the whole thing and we'll lose the thumbnail we won't want that we'll take the flex from the bottom and put it at the top change the color Almost everything else will remain similar. Margin right, change this color and save that. Hopefully, there's no errors. Hey, look at that! So, we've got some. Okay, so. We want, when we hit that, we want this to pop up as well. And so, the, see, I'm pretty sure on, IO, uh, on Android, we're not going to have that problem at all. So we click this because it shifts it up all by itself. See, how good does that look? <laughs> We've got our user, little thumbnail there, little friend. Um, we, yeah. So... On Android, hmm, that's annoying. Yeah, when we swipe up, it 
Yeah, so I think what I'm gonna have to do, uh, I'll keep it there for now. So to solve this problem, so that it doesn't hide my text on iOS, I'm gonna have to come down here to my flat list, and I have to add something. I'm gonna add two things. First is I'm gonna add a content style, a container style. This is gonna it's something we probably don't actually want to worry about. You know, we're not gonna see that until we have a few more messages, but that's gonna help us. And then this automatically adjust content, automatically adjusts keyboard insets. Set that to true. And then there we go. So now our text is sort of it's keyboard aware. So you know when we when, we, when our keyboard comes up, all that text comes up as well. This was a pain in the ass to figure out. And on Android, it's totally fine. Like there's no issue with it. It already works you know, perfectly well. Oh yeah, that's so okay. So our padding top was added to our bottom. So this is why we have a nice little gap here now. A nice little gap. Awesome. Hmm, that's really annoying. So we can't scroll on this one, but we can scroll on this one without it closing. If we click here, it goes down. So I think that when there's a few more messages over here, we will be able to scroll without it closing on us like that. So it's just an annoying little quirk, it seems. Alrighty, so we're displaying our messages. So we can get rid of this red, uh, ugly border width, border color. We just wipe those out. And now we've got an actual message you know, list here. And I feel like we want some padding over this side. Let's add something like that. Bubble of our friend, let's add padding left. Let's make it 12. Let's make it 16. There we go, a little more centered. And then on us, we'll go padding right. We'll give that 12 as well. And then it's you know not on the edge so much. It looks a little bit nicer. Alrighty. So now that we can fetch our messages, now what we want is when we send a message. So when I send you know a message like this, we want it to update in this list and update in this list as well. So we want it to be we want it to you know be real time. We want it to be live, and we. And then after, at the very end, we're going to add like a typing bubble. So when I'm like bang, 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 you can have like a little typing bubble that's like boop, 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 boop. So, you know, that's going to be really, really cool. But for the first thing we want to do uh, is we want to be able to send. And then we want it to update in both of our message uh, views. So we're going to do that now. So we're going to go to our consumers and in our message send, we're going to add some extra stuff at the end of this one. I'm going to add to it. So we're going to send new message back to sender. So the friend or the one responsible I'm gonna send that back as well, which is us. And then again, create a, an object like this. I'm just gonna say a message.
message.send and then our data and we're going to need the other one. We're going to send the other one too. So we're just going to copy this whole thing here and we're going to need this get recipient and then I'm just going to put this here at the top. Send you message back to receiver. And then this user is going to be the recipient. Uh, no, sorry. No, 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 no. Made a mistake. So we're going to put our, you know, get our recipient. We're going to fix that up. We're going to come back up here. And then our friend is going to be the recipient. That we send back to ourselves. We're not going to send. We're not going to tell. We're not going to. We are not our own friend. The recipient is our friend because we're sending it to ourselves or the person who sent the message. So we need the recipient to be serialized here. Sorry, a little mistake there. Uh, silly me. And then once we send it back to the the person who will not back when we send the message to the receiver, then this time this. This user is going to be the recipient, this time it's us here, and this time it's the recipient. And then because it's the recipient, the serialized friend is us. I know it can get confusing, sorry about this. And then this should be fine, this should be fine. And then we're going to send it to the recip, recip, recipient dot username. And then I know this is a little, getting a little bit confusing, but we're sending it to the recipient here. And we're sending it back to ourselves here. So this function is getting a bit kind of, you know, ugh, yucky. But this is all we need here for sending messages. Now we can go over to our global and we can receive that. So we're going to need to create a new response function. message send, message send, save that, and then we need to come up here and our messages list, we'll just copy this one, message send, so it's, you know, it's the response for when a message is sent, so we're going to grab this. And similar to before, but we're going to add it to the front. So the messages list, and we're going to spread the new one, data.message, single, singular, to the front of this new message list. And then we're going to add that. And then that is all that it's going to take to display our message. Now there's a lot more we need to do when we get to you know typing bubbles and whatnot. But this should refresh. When we send a message, it should update instantly. So we go here, and then we'll log in. We'll, we'll open our messages on the other user. Now, when I go over here, you know, we'll send it from here instead. Hey. Something like that, and then send it. Errors. Um, ah, yeah, I should not have spread this. It's not, it's a single object, it's not a spreadable thing. All right, I'll try again. Refresh. It definitely worked. Yeah. iOS is sort of, you know, does some funny things sometimes, but what can you do? Okay, now I'm gonna send hey there.
messages list, it looks like none of us received that message. So let's see why that is. Response message send. So we had, let's look here, this is me. We'll wipe this out. It looks, do we even receive that? Hmm. No. So serializes, remove this. That's the first thing. Save that, get rid of it. Now in our message send, message send, message send. This is what we should be receiving when a message is sent, but we didn't receive anything. Okay, let's try again. And we'll keep close attention here of what's happening. So we'll just go into this one, this one. We should see our list, yep. And then we'll send something. Okay. There we go. Okay, it works. Okay, I don't know why. <laughs> I'm not sure what the hell happened there. But if something doesn't work, refresh, try again. As I said, you know, try a million times. Like making making a million mistakes and then trying it again and then making a change, blah, blah, blah. That's how you learn. Um, so that worked there. Let's see if it works here as well. Now we loaded that, it's what we expected. Now let's just send something like that. Yay, look at that. Okay, so it works. It's it's we have some real time communication between those two users now. So I'm gonna, you know, yo, something like that, and then send, and it updates here, which you know. Awesome. It's awesome stuff. So we've still got a few things to do before it's you know fully complete. Um, for example, we want to display the most recent message and also yeah, we want to display the most recent message and also the time here. So we want to update this friend list item. And it's, it's, we're not just going to update it so when it, whatever it refreshes, we're going to update it so that, like, let's just say that, you know, I'm here and I send a message, you know, go, something like that. It's going to update here straight away. So it's going to be like, you know, it's going to update there, the time's going to update, it's going to update in this list in real time. 